Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager series. This is episode number eight and today we've got big games against Crystal Palace and Stoke City in the Barclays Premier League as we try to pull away from the relegation zone. The last game you would have seen was against Manchester United. That game kept me in the job and following that we beat Aston Villa by three goals to one away over the park. So two consecutive wins. Haven't had that in a long, 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 long time. In fact... Not for the entire season until August. Wow, that's crazy. But uh, still, we beat Aston Villa. Uh, then we lost to Everton 1-0. And then we drew 2-2 with Newcastle in our most recent game. Now we've got Palace, who are already relegated and rock bottom of the table with just 7 points. And they'll be taking on Stoke City, who right now are in 16th place. We are in 17th place. This is a look at the league table just before we go into today's games. As you can see, just 6 points clear of the drop zone with 7 games to go. These these two games are absolutely massive. We need to pick up points in both of those, and here's hoping we can get it. Also, a quick look at our squad right now, and as you can see, Angel, Rangel, Rodrigo, Benzker, Liam Cullen, and Poloski are all injured. Poloski and Cullen both got injured at the same time, and as you can see right now, Gomis and Barrow are the only two striking options we have. So I've had to put Liam Edwards, a 16-year-old, in our first team, and also Botti Biabi, who I've had no experience with whatsoever. He right now is also in the first team just to provide cover. So we really are down to the bare bones in the striker position. So for next season, if I'm still here as Swansea manager, I'm going to have to make sure we strengthen this area and get some more depth to it. So either way, we go into the first game of today's episode. It is against Crystal Palace. They are already relegated with seven points. We're away at Selhurst Park. And I mean, we should win it. You know, we should win it. When you look at Crystal Palace's schedule, you think we've been in bad form this season. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. This is unbelievable. Palace this year have just been absolutely terrible. Their only win was the third game of the Premier League season when they beat West Ham 2-1 away at Upton Park. Other than that, every single game has been a loss or a draw. It is unbelievable how bad they've been. So if we don't win this game, I mean, seriously, I, I mean, I fear for us. I really do. But still, this is the team we are going to go with. Uh, Lucas Fabianski is in goal. Back for Neil Taylor, Ashley Williams, Federico Fernandez, and Kieran Trippier. Uh, Leroy Fur fills in for Rodrigo Benzka and Jack Cork keeps his place alongside him. Further forward, Montero on the left, Ayu on the right. Back from injury, scoring his return as well, which is great to see in the last game. And Gilfie Sigerton as our attacking midfielder. Modu Barrow is going to stay as our lone striker because I don't really trust Gomis and he's not even fully fit right now and Botti Biabi is on the bench alongside Gomis Routledge, Ki Sung Young, Kyle Norton, Kyle Bartley and also Nortfelt as well so yeah we're, uh, we're, we're, we're down to the bare bones particularly in the striker position but we should have enough to beat Crystal Palace and if we don't beat Palace then I'll just come out and say it there is a very strong chance we will end up getting relegated because this is this is a poor Crystal Palace team and one of the worst teams that the Premier League would have ever seen. Uh, you know, seven points from 31 games. Absolutely terrible. So we really need to make sure we get to win this one. And I'm, I'm confident, but again, if we don't win it, if we don't win this game, then I'm really, really fearful for our chances of survival. We need a win. We need a good win. And, um, and and let's hope we can get it. We really need one. Let's try and kick on, get a good run of form going. And let's see us pull away from the relegation zone. I do not want to be in a fight come the final game of the season. Here's Ayu down the right-hand side for our first highlight. Andre Ayu crosses the centre, looks for Modu Barrow, picks him out. Can't get a shot away. He plays it back towards Kieran Trippier. Down this right-hand side, crosses Barrow's shot, finds the back of the net. And what a perfect start. Five minutes in, Modu Barrow gets his eighth goal of the season. And look at us get propelled up the table to 14th place if we do hold on for a win in this game. So five minutes in, a really, really good start. Barry couldn't get a shot away initially, so he smartly played it back out wide towards Kieran Trippier. Trippier had space to cross the ball in. No one really shut him down quickly enough. And once he got the cross into the centre, Modu Barrow lost his man and put it in to the back of the net. So Palace nil, Swansea won. We can see why they're rock bottom of the table and already relegated. Great start. Well done, Swansea. Five minutes to go. Can we hold on to our 1-0 lead or are Palace going to stun us and get a late equalising goal? We've got three minutes of stoppage time. Come on, Swansea. Let's see out the game here. Ashley Williams struggling a little bit. We should be okay as uh, there's a free kick or a goal kick for Palace and they play it long towards Dwight Gale. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Dwight Gale inside the area. Oh, what a goal by Dwight Gale. And in stoppage time, we've thrown away two points to a Crystal Palace side who are only going to, you know, have eight points, you'd probably think, coming the end of the season because they've been so bad all year long. Dwight Gale, it's a great finish by Gale. 
But Jesus, man, I mean, this is Crystal Palace with, before the game, seven points. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious? We're not going to stay up if we fail to beat... Don't score again, Palace. If we if we throw us away, I don't know what to say. Dwight Gale inside the air is offside, and that should be the game. Unbelievable. 1-1 one, one against Palace. We were fine. They'd done virtually nothing for the entire game. We dominated possession. This is Crystal Palace. And, oh, yeah, great joke, David Adams. Made that crystal clear to the team. Yeah, I will make it crystal clear to the team. We should be winning these games. How... How how do you not beat Crystal Palace with seven points? How are we going to stay up? We throw these games away. How am I going to stay in the job? Oh, my word. Truly is utterly pathetic. How do you not beat Crystal Palace? I mean, seriously, already relegated seven points. I'm going to go about gone about this for the rest of the night. This is unbelievable. How the hell are we going to stay up if we can't get these? Oh, now Fabianski's injured for six weeks. Really? Um, oh, my word. This is just ridiculous. What the hell? How? Oh, my word. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that injuries occur at a much higher rate than in FIFA. But it's just, oh, my word. Like, all season long. I don't think we've had a healthy squad all season long other than the period when we were actually losing quite a few games in succession. So this is, this is really, really bad because our squad is quite thin as it is. And now we take on Stoke. And if we don't win this game, I'm, I'm very fearful. Because when you look at the games we've got to come after this, we've got Chelsea, City and Liverpool as three of our final four. And a Watford side who right now are in seventh place. And Norwich are doing quite well as well in 12th. We have to beat Stoke, because I can't, I can't see us winning any of these final five games. We have to beat Stoke. Come on. All right, so this is the team I'll pick for the game against Stoke City. Then Nortfelt will come in for the injured Lucas Fabianski. Back for Taylor Williams, Fernandez, and Trippier. Leroy Fur and Jack Hawk start together in the field once again. Further forward, Montero, Sigerson, and Ayu support Modu Barrow. We simply have to win this game. I mean, please, we need to win. We have to win because if we don't, I mean, honestly, if we don't win this game, then that game against Villa will surely turn out to be our final win of the season because I don't fancy us winning any of our final five games. And when you look at this right now, we're only six points clear of West Brom and have the worst goal difference record. There's only six games to go, but... We simply need to pick up points right now. We need to do it. We cannot afford to keep on slipping up. So Stoke's side is, of course, very, very good. And they're probably going to be, I wouldn't say considered favourites, but, you know, at least, you know, considered capable of getting a draw in this game. We have to get a win. We're in front of our home crowd. We are desperately trying to get the points. I have faith in the team somehow, for some reason. We need to get the three points. So come on, Swansea. Let's pull away from the drop zone. We should have beat Palace. We should have held on for the win. But let's get the three points here. Let's get it done. Three games undefeated. I want it. Come on, Swansea. All right, first highlight is here. Ten minutes in. Nortfelt launches a free kick long. And we surrender possession to Ryan Shaw. Cross, he finds Glenn Johnson back to Imbula. And Stoke will get the ball on the ground and try and move it around. Johnson inside towards Jossily. What a ball towards Mama Biram Juf, who's in. And we'll hit the post. Oh, my God word off the post from Juve and that should have been 1-0 to the away side very fortunate escape not the start we want come on Swansea let's turn it around that was a little bit too close to comfort and now Federico Fernandez has picked up a knock oh my word all my players are dropping like flies still Sigerson free towards Barrow down the left hand side he's got a man to beat here still Modi Barrow on the ball cross to the far post looks for are you on the volley oh what a save by Guillermo Ochoa and the Mexican goalkeeper with a superb save to stop the ball from crossing the line and his near post and Andre Ayu was denied by a superb stop and it is still goalless with 10 minutes to go. What a save. And it's still nil-nil. Come on. I'm actually on the edge of my seat right now. Sigerson corner towards Fernandez, Headed up in the air. Williams, can he win it? No, Jeff Cameron gets it away. And Kieran Trippier will pick it up. Come on, Swansea. Let's get a goal in this first half. Trippier on the ball. Plays it long towards Ayu. Muni has to cut it out. Oh, my word. Juve is free. Juve is free. Where is our back line? Mamma be around Juve for 1-0. Where's our back line? I know it was our corner. But once we surrender possession, you've got to get back on defense. Where was the back line? Where were the defenders? Oh my word, just a clearance. Played Malaby around Juve in. He's on the side and literally no one is going to catch up to Juve. Look at that, five white shirts playing catch up. Juve goes through, puts it past Nortfelt. 1-0 Stoke. 
I mean, you know, I'm not going to be in a job next season. I'm just going to say that I'm not going to be in a job next season unless we sort this out right now. We're a goal down. This could be two. Afolai on the break for Stoke. Down the left-hand side here. They've got bodies going down the right side. They can switch to play here. And Bulu through towards Shakiri. Let's run across his body and finds Josselu into Zerd and Shakiri. The Swiss midfielder on the ball. Plays it through towards Jufri. Second goal of the game into the top corner. RIP Docs. I'm getting sacked. Swansea are going down. 2-0 Stoke. Pathetic, absolutely pathetic. We we leak goals left, right, and centre. And another one comes here. Shakiri inside towards G for his second goal of the game. Beats Northfell. 2-0 to Stoke. Trippier down this right-hand side for Swansea. Can we get back into the game? Trippier towards Leroy Fair on the edge of the area. Finds Sigurdsson through towards IU. Come on, let's get a shot away. Back to Trippier down this right-hand side. Trippier crosses. Oh, it's gone in off Walshide. And we are back in the game just a couple of minutes after conceding our second and own goal from Philip Walshide. And that sums up our season, really. Getting back in the game for an own goal. Trippier crosses the ball into the centre. That's the second time in two games we scored from Trippier's cross. It hits the back of Walshide, I think, and Ochoa did not see it. 2-1 to Stoke. We're back in the game, though. We've half the deficit. Come on, Swansea. Let's get a fight back going. Highlight here as Ayu's on the ball. Plays it long towards Jefferson Montero. Come on, down this left-hand side. Finds Leroy Fur. Fur inside the area. Takes it around Ryan Shawcross. Shoots, and Ochoa turns it behind at the near post, and still Stoke lead by two goals to one. Another fine save by the Mexican. And, you know, if you look at the stats right now, as that corner is dealt with only as far as are you, it'll uh, play back towards Kieran Trippier. We've played quite well, and it's been like this throughout the entire season. We've played well in our games. We've just made silly errors and haven't taken the chances we've had. Come on. Just over three minutes to play, and we still trail by two goals to one. Come on, Swansea. We've had the possession. We've had more chances. All we need is one goal. Come on, we're in stoppage time, and that is going to be that, isn't it? Unless Montero with the throw. Come on, in towards Neil Taylor inside the area. Skips around his man and puts the shot wide, and that will be that. Final score, Swansea 1, Stoke City 2. My hands are in my head right now, and no, my head is in my hands right now. We've lost again. And this is a game we simply could not afford to lose. I don't believe this, man. Seriously, we have slipped back down to 16th place. Newcastle and West Brom both have a game in hand on us. Newcastle got a far better goal difference. West Brom's is better than ours by two. And let's say West Brom win their game. They got to 32 points and only three points behind us with five games to go. I mean, that is just... That is just a very daunting possibility and one which is definitely possible. So as you can see right now with the league table after these two games, I can't believe this. We were seconds away from beating Crystal Palace. That would have propelled us all the way up the table to 14th place. Now you look at the Premier League table and as you can see with five games to go, I mean, there's a very strong chance we're going down. But that is going to be today's episode of my Football Manager series, guys. So a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. A very angry and frustrating episode for us as we continue to fall down the table and right now are very, very, very anxious in our pursuit for survival. We are not doing a good job and are looking over our shoulders because West Brom are breathing down our necks. Not long to go. Are we going to stay up? Well, you'll find out in the next episode with games against City and Liverpool. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you for the final episode of this season against Manchester City and Liverpool, where hopefully we'll be celebrating survival very soon.